Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of The Audio Files. My name is Steve Westman, so happy that you can join me today. Uh, today is a really cool episode. I'm a huge Beatles fan. Um, I've been building my audio, audio file Beatles uh, collection for years now. That's really what got me um, into record collecting years and years ago, uh, was the Beatles. So uh, I know a little bit about them and I wanted to share some tips today on building your Beatles audio file collection. So I'm going to, um, you know, talk about the different uh, options out there for collectors, for audiophile collectors, and then, um, you know, go through some of the, the do's and don'ts and, you know, things that I've done that I regret and purchased. So that way we can help you, uh, you know, find the best Beatles collection uh, for the dollar that's out there instead of chasing things. So stay tuned. I think it's going to be a great episode. can hardly wait to get this thing started. Yeah, so I want to get started right now. Um, basically, building the best Beatles audio file collection. Well, uh, I'll give you some advice. I'm going to start off right now and say that, I mean, it really depends on your budget. If your budget's unlimited, well, that's a whole different video. Uh, we can talk about uh, some of the really rare audio file pressings that are out there. But uh, if you're really looking for, you know, the best quality audio file Beatles pressings, let's go. Let's talk about it right now. So number one, if you're going to get the whole collection, the entire Beatles catalog, why wouldn't you make it Mobile Fidelity? Now you've got two options. Option number one, you can get the Mobile Fidelity uh, box set and each album looks like this. It's kind of cool actually. Uh, on the front, they got a picture of each master tape of each side. So this one is, I believe, uh, with the Beatles. So this is side one and of course, uh, well, would be side two if I open this uh, co cover up. But anyways, this is uh, from the box set. So the MoFi box set, um, 1982 is when it came out when it was pressed on discogs right now I mean anywhere from you know a thousand dollars upwards to that depending so I mean you know pretty good value for of course you know um, right off the master tapes I love my MoFi collection uh, especially the Beatles as I told you at the top huge Beatles fan so you have either have that option or you can just do the individual uh, MoFi's as well um, which have all the original original album artwork from each album is here of course the Sgt. Pepper and then you know if you really want to go true to how the Beatles recorded uh, you know in the studio all of the recordings were recorded in mono other than Abbey Road so I mean you need to you know if you really want to feel how it was in the studio my second suggestion after buying the uh, the MoFi box or the individual MoFi uh, Beatles pressings would be the Beatles mono box. Now those will retail anywhere from again $1,200 upwards on Discogs and other places such as the MoFi buy and sell group. I've seen, seen a few listed on there on our on that Facebook page. So um, you got to do your homework. I mean, I would definitely if you haven't already. You know, join different MoFi forums, um, you know, the MoFi, all the different MoFi forums on Facebook. Join the MoFi Buy and Sell Audiophile Club as well. Lots of great information, lots to look at. Um, you can really look at the prices and really figure out, uh, you know, what would work for you in terms of building that collection. So that is uh, the two big ones that I would suggest. I mean, you really don't need much more than that in terms of, um, you know, chasing other titles at this point. So. On from there um, is the Magical Mystery Tour. Now, there's a lot of debate about the Magical Mystery Tour. I hate the Capitol pressing. I don't like the MoFi pressing. Um, it was never done in true stereo. Um, rumor has it from my research, uh, you know, reading the Hoffman Forum and other Google searches that it was, you know, maybe second, third generation tapes that Capitol got. And you got to remember too that uh, Magical Mystery Tour wasn't part of the UK catalog for years after as well. So the best true audiophile stereo version of the Magical Mystery Tour um, is a German pressing and I'll find it right here. I'd recommend also getting this one if you're going to add to either your MoFi box set or your Mono box set or both. This is the Horzu German pressing. Now, there's a couple of different versions of this. This is the one that I'd want you to buy. This is the Horzu 1973 pressing, um, and it has the true stereo mixing mixes of the songs on this album, uh, especially Penny Lane mixed 
perfectly in stereo and it does sound amazing. Um, I have the capital version of the Magical Mystery Tour and honestly, I think I should just, just throw it out. It just doesn't compare to this. So definitely, if you're gonna add on, you wanna add on to your Beatles Audiophile collection, this is the next go-to right here. This is the Horzu 1973 German pressing. Um, on Discogs, anywhere from, I haven't looked for a while, um, these go, these should run you for a near mint copy, you know, probably anywhere from 80 to $120 uh, US. So then after that, what do you do? What else is there to do? Well, uh, we've had some wonderful 50th anniversary series come out from the, from Giles Martin. So to add on to your MoFi box set and your mono box set, um, I would also add on by including the 50th anniversary 4 LP white album with the Escher demos. You cannot go wrong with this. Um, I personally like the mono white album, but I like what Giles Martin did with this. It does sound amazing. And of course I love all the outtakes. I'm a huge outtakes guy. I can sit there and listen to all the outtakes all day. So absolutely adding on, you need to get this if you're adding on to your Beatles collection. So then after that, well, what do we have? Well, pretty obvious, we're gonna move on. You gotta have the next one, the Giles Martin 50th anniversary Sgt. Pepper. Now, Sgt. Pepper and Mono, that's actually how it was recorded. That's why I think it should be listened to is in Mono, but Giles Martin and the team does a great job. It's a wonderful album, sounds really good. Um, if you get the, you know, get the anniversary edition, you're gonna get the outtakes as well, which are amazing. So yeah, add on. I'd like you to get this one as well if you're gonna add on to your Beatles collection. Love this album. Um, but you already have the Beatles mono um, in your box set. So definitely this is just a compliment to that. Yeah, and then the third, I guess, box set, another 50th anniversary. I love this album. Uh, again, another great compliment to uh, everything else that you've collected if you've uh, taken my advice. I'm sure you've seen it before. The uh, Giles Martin 3LP Anniversary Edition. Now, I love the way uh, Paul's bass sounds um, in the, on the Come Together song. And then in Golden Slumbers as well. Unbelievable. And then from there, um, I love how in the song at the end, uh, all four guitar licks. I just think it sounds incredible. Uh, I love this album. I love the outtakes again, like I was saying before. Uh, this is one that I could spin all day and just uh, just listen to it over and over again. So again, to complement everything else that I uh, suggest you tonight, uh, again, the Giles Martin 50th Anniversary 3 LP set. Incredible box set. And then uh, probably later this year or next year, there's rumors that uh, Let It Be will have a box set. Um, nothing in stone. I know there's a uh, Peter Jackson movie coming out uh, sometime next year. And hopefully they... Uh, Hopefully Giles Martin does a uh, Let It Be box set as well. It would be amazing to see that. So let's, well, one can hope, I guess, as a Beatles fan, one can hope. So that are that is my recommendations. Now, one more thing. Stuff that I wouldn't want you to buy. Uh, don't, for any reason, do it. So for instance, you're in, you're in a record store, you see a couple Beatles albums, you get all excited. Here's what I've done in the past. I'm like, oh, nice, look at this one. It's in, the, it's in the shrink. I'm going to get this one really cool. This cool purple label. Again, this is when I didn't know anything years and years ago. One of the worst pressings of purple label albums by Capital. Avoid at all costs. Um, this is just pretty much an ornament at this point. Definitely not an audiophile recording. And then other ones, uh, my last my last video, I talked about hot stampers and and uh, buying from a legitimate hot stamper website. Here's other ones. These are hot stampers. Uh, these do sound pretty fantastic. Uh, rubber sole I have. I've got them all, but uh, with the Beatles. So if you really want to go down, and I think I mentioned in my last last video, go down that rabbit hole and chase all sorts of other uh, Beatles pressings. Go for it. But I think keep it simple, uh, depending on your budget, and you know. Take my suggestions, I think you'd be very happy. Now, lastly, my Beatles wish list. What I would love to have if I had unlimited budget. So maybe some of you guys do, if you do, here's what I suggest that you also 
look at purchasing. The Mobile Fidelity UHQR Sgt. So Pepper box, absolutely fabulous. I have listened to before. I unfortunately don't own a copy, but yes, it's on my wish list. I do want one. Um, another Sgt. Pepper cop, another Sergeant Pepper uh, uh, album that I really would like as well on my wish list is an Aussie, Aussie pressing from 1983, uh, mastered by a fellow by the name of Don Bartley. Only 500 made. Um, it's done by Audio 5. And these were handed out, uh, I guess MEI commissioned this and they wanted to hand this out in, at these Australia, Australia Hi-Fi shows. So Don Bartley uh, remastered this. It was a one-to-one -one tape that he got to remaster um, through Audio 5 and, and MEI. And man, I would love to get my hands one of these, you know, we're limited 500 only. Uh, last they looked in Discogs, there's none available, but uh, I think it was like $1,500 or so. So yeah, uh, Audio 5 Sgt. Pepper, one of my dream discs to own. And then lastly, more Mo5 that I'd like to own. There are test pressings, Mobile Fidelity test pressings of UHQR's Abbey Road, and there's test pressings of the UHQR Rubber Soul albums through Mobile Fidelity. Now, those would be more on my dream list as well. If you have unlimited funds and you can track down the individuals that would like to sell those albums, go for it. I can't even imagine what they must sound like. One can dream and one can hope, I guess. All right, folks. Well, that basically wraps it all up. Thank you so much. At the bottom of this screen, subscribe, please. That does do a lot. I really appreciate it. Again, hope you enjoyed all this information, a lot packed in, and we'll see you next week. And until the meantime, spin those records, turn the music up. This is Steve Westman. Hope you enjoyed another edition of The Audio Files.